Why do you want to build a Tesla coil uh, top load just like this one or similar to this one? If yes, then this is the right video for you. This build, you are gonna need some aluminum foil tape strips about 25 millimeters in width, but 20 millimeter in width would work much better. You are gonna need some uh, wood for the base. I, I used uh, plywood and this is 140 millimeters in, dia uh, in diameter. Uh, you also are gonna need some cardboard with circles printed on them uh, for the support. And the more support, the better. I am using 80 millimeter diameter supports. You're also gonna need some scissors, a knife, a hot glue gun, uh, some sandpaper and construction foam. Let's get into the video. Uh, you have to cut out the circles from uh, this, uh, this cardboard. You have to cut out all of them. Uh, the, these will serve as the supports. The more supports, the better. Out of the cardboard, it's time to cut in slots in them so they can easily attach to the base, like this. They don't have to be really deep uh, in, uh, about 1.5 centimeters, like 15 millimeters, and the thickness has to be the th thickness of your basically base, uh, the thickness of your base. And for base, you can use cardboard, uh, but uh, I recommend wood because it's uh, much stronger. Cutting them out, uh, it's time to glue them uh, to the platform. So you just take your hot glue. And glue them on. I have uh, drawn lines so it's easier for me to know where to put them. So they have like uh, equal spacing between them. It isn't really necessary though, or important. Also, I made uh, 30 supports. Uh, you, you, of course, don't have to make uh, that many, uh, but the more is better. Now, after gluing, just wait for the glue to dry. Next step is to fill, uh, fill in the voids with spray foam. Put something under so it doesn't stick to the table. Now just fill in the voids. Now just let it cure and expand overnight the next day. Now that the spray foam has expanded and cured, it's time to shape it into the form. After getting it to the rough shape, it's time to sand it to, to a final shape. After sanding it to the final shape, it's time to smoothly cover it uh, all over with aluminum foil tape. I'm using aluminum foil strips that are 25 millimeters in width, and thir uh, 330 millimeters in length. And they uh, you have to cover it smoothly so there are no sharp points and edges. One eternity later. And the final one. Mm. 
Now, when you have uh, finally finished wrapping it, just smooth it out with some uh, smooth object. So there are not no sharp bits and pieces. And you're done. And now, enjoy. See you all in my next video.